Our theme this morning is Americana. I'm going to go relatively small. When I draw the onions, you see the first line that I drew was a straight line down the middle of it? I got the axis of it first. This is the axis of this little onion. You see this? That's its axis. So if I want to get it in the right gesture, it's easier if you draw the axis first. And focus, think about this like a camera. I'm going to, get, I'm going to start off with the painting out of focus, with my image out of focus, and then I'm going to crank the focus down. Now, this is the rub. How far? How far do I crank that focus down? Um, I know that I want this area to be the, the dominant. I know that this is where I want to go. So I'm going to get a little bit more real with this area right now. Put the paint on in the idea of the pattern. So I'm not going to go nice smooth strokes down this way. I'm putting them on. And you may not even see this, but it will be perceivable at the end. And while I had that dark, I sort of am in the mood to put just a little bit okay, of a pattern, of this top pattern on here. So this is um, a, very, a dark made with ultramarine red oxide, and it's got a little bit of alizarin in it. So my horizon line, for my eye view, is, is way out there, right out there. It's way out there. So all these lines are going to go up, up toward the horizon line. This has ridges in it, but for now I just want it down as a, as a big shape. I'm going to, for this painting, I'm going to go for the big shapes. It's got too much orange. Go for my big shapes. Keep them loose and then drop my little shapes into them. We're going to start with orange. We're going to go with red oxide, yellow ochre, which I think I've used for many of the mixes already. I'm going to under mix this. I'm going to put some of my contaminated white. I'm going to so undermix this. Let's let some crumbs go up there. The way I've set this up is as a vertical, a 16 by 12. And I've set up uh, my flowers with peonies as the dominant flower and the foil in the background with my hydrangea. So this, is a, this will be a dark against a light against a dark. These are things that I think about. The, the uh, thought right now for me is uh, placement. I'm also beginning to think about the, the feeling that I want for my flowers. I don't want one petal. I really want a nice, loose feeling. You know, one thing I love about uh, starting off this way is that I know, I know the big answer. I, I don't know the little answers at this point, and I, and I like that. That means I still have some, some wonderful adventure happening that's, that can happen for me later on in the painting, some wonderful things that can happen. But I do know that the big movements are there. As I come down, they get a little bit greener, my petals. You have that little center bit. This is just part of hydrangea-ness. I don't, in my studio, I don't talk when I paint because if I talk when I paint, I may not hear the painting talking back. You're going to connect shadows. You're going to jump in with tremendous amounts of joyful paint. That's the subject of this painting. The feeling of the, of the movement you have in the, in the screen so much, I'm not sure how much further I want you to go with that. I mean, a, a little bit to show that, yes, these are bits of leaves, but, but not so much. I mean, it, it's so fluid. And it, our viewer does not have to have all of the information. When we first started out, you were putting thin paint on and carefully being a nice little girl drawing inside the exactly. lines. Exactly. And now you're outside the lines and your creativity has exploded. And I'm, I think you've been drawing behind my back because your drawing has come so far. I think you did an amazing job. Are you Thank pleased? You. I love it. I love it. I, uh, it was fun to paint, um, a challenge, but you know, when you bite off something bigger than you're ready for and it comes out okay, you're just yeah, happy. It's not okay, it's wonderful.